welcome back everyone today we are going to talk about how we can create our own custom end cloth preset and uh, this will just help you speed up your process sometimes you are dealing with a lot of end cloth object and you want to apply the same parameters to each and every object and you cannot do that uh, and sometimes remembering the same parameters same numbers are too a bit of a long process so in that case of scenario what you can do is create your own custom preset and then apply it to all the other objects so let's get into it so i'm going to take a simple thing this will be my collider i'm going to make the divisions to one and one and this will be our end cloth i'm going to bring this up scale this up okay. so i'm going to go to my fx menu and we have played around with end cloth a lot of time so i guess everybody should know the basics of end cloth i'm going to create a passive collider i'm going to select my sphere and let's create the end cloth Right, I'm going to increase some subdivision for this. 30 and 30 should be nice. And now we have something like this. Uh, let's change the. Now, this is a default end cloth. I've not touched any parameter. This is just a simple basic end cloth. I'm going to do some changes. I'm going to add some. I'm going to kind of make it uh, maybe like an airbag or something like that. So, I'm going to increase some pressure into this. So, I'm going to make the pressure to something like maybe 2. Let's see. Right, so, we have some kind of pressure going on. And then maybe I'll in, uh, sorry, decrease the overall stretch resistance so it will inflate even more. Something like this. And I'm going to reduce the compression to 2. And uh, I'm going to keep thing else to see. I'm going to decrease the mass. And I'm going to increase the damping. Alright, so this looks pretty good to me. And now we have something like this. But it looks pretty good. I think we can go even lower. And... I think it's a bit too much. I'm going to go to 5. Right, let's increase the mark. So it's a bit heavy. Alright. So there you go. Now, so we have this kind of thing and we want to apply the same thing to a lot of objects. So I'm going to go to my preset here and I'm going to say save end cloth preset. I'm going to name this, uh, let's say, new inflate. And I'm going to save attribute preset. And uh, I guess this is already, I've already created a preset with the same name. So I'm going to say no and let's call it a gear for now. Say preset and now if I'll select and go to my end cloth, you should see the idea preset right over. So apart from the default preset, all these are my own user presets. So I'm going to do one thing, I'm going to take some more duplicate spheres. And so like this, and let's go to end cloth, end cloth, and I'm going to simply take a preset of idea. I'm going to create end cloth for this and uh, take idea. All right. So let's play this, and now you have something like this. So now you have multiple objects, but you don't have to actually hustle around with all those parameters and the same numbers, applying the same things again and again and again. So now it's just one click, and you're good to go. So now you have seen amount of pressure, same amount of mass, same amount of stretch resistance and so on. So I hope this helped you out with the, whatever you're doing and this is just easy and quick way to create end cloth if you're dealing with a lot of objects. So have fun with this, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.